growing up, I never had any idea what I wanted to do in life until I watched The Mummy. And then I realized I wanted to be the librarian from The Mummy. I've dreamt about this since I was a little girl. You dream about dead guys? But not just any librarian. A librarian who also goes on adventures and saves the world from ancient curses. It's a curse! <laughs> Beware of the curse! That never ended up happening. I may not be an explorer, or, or an adventurer, or a treasure seeker, or a gunfighter. But now there's an aesthetic that says it can. Uh, wait a minute. More like this. Tuthmosis. What are you doing here? Recently, my friends introduced me to dark academia, which is a whole internet aesthetic. It's not just fashion, but fashion is what I'm focusing on here. I've never really been a person who follows fashion trends. I didn't even know dark academia existed until like two weeks ago. My fundamental life principle when it comes to fashion is, do I think it will look good on me? If so, then I will try it. And if it does look good on me, I'll continue wearing it forever, which is why I will wear high-waisted pants for the rest of my life. I don't care if it goes out of fashion. The dark academia fashion style contains a lot of autumn tones, which is really great for someone with red hair. It also has a lot of high-waisted pants and skirts, which is excellent for someone with an extremely long torso. It gives the illusion of having long legs, when in reality, I am primarily a wacky, wavy, inflatable, arm flailing tube man with little hobbit stumps. On top of that, the dark academia aesthetic just screams, don't talk to me. I'm decrypting an ancient manuscript so I can stop a curse from destroying the world. Beware of the curse! You're welcome, which is all I've ever wanted in life. Don't be ridiculous. So today we're going to a Japanese thrift store to see if I can get some dark academia looks going. If you're interested in a better idea of what dark academia fashion is, here is a video by Rachel Maxi that I highly recommend watching. Yes, another YouTuber with red hair who is also named Rachel. If you clicked on this video because you thought I was Rachel Maxi, hello, I'm Discount Rachel Maxi. I like a lot of the things that Rachel Maxi likes, but I have none of the skills, knowledge, or expertise of Rachel Maxi. If Rachel Maxi is handmade couture, I am big lots. Or in this case, Japanese thrift store. So let's get going. But first, real quick, thank you to today's sponsor, Native Deodorant. This is the perfect deodorant for trying on clothes at a thrift store because they don't leave white marks all over things. It feels fresh and smells wonderful all day, even here in a Japanese summer where stepping outside feels like you're walking directly into a hot spring. I have these scents, lavender and rose, citrus and herbal musk, and eucalyptus and mint, which is still my favorite, although they all smell amazing. They have plastic-free options available. They're also paraben, sulfate, and aluminum-free, as well as vegan and cruelty-free. And they also have body washes and toothpaste now. Last year, they donated $2 million worth of product to Hope and Comfort, a nonprofit that provides hygiene products to those in need. Three deodorants are normally $36, but if you use my link and code RACHELJUNE3, you'll get them for $24. You can also get 20% off any body wash or toothpaste. All right, let's go to the thrift store. We have made it to the thrift store. Also, um, there's soap in the bathroom that says cow. I like this. <gasps> I like it a lot. I'll put it in the bath. Good Lord. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, I have already accumulated a number of things to try on. This one is not dark academia. Don't judge me. Just look cute. <laughs> Cece, look at this. It would be so fun if like I could find a shirt with a fancy cinched waist. But look, if I actually put this up to my shoulders, it's cinching at my boobs. This is not my waist. <laughs> this is my problem in Japan. I have a very long torso. My waist is like here. We are in pants section. I am looking for high-waisted grandpa pants. <laughs> like tweed grandpa pants. <laughs> Not this. Cute modern pants. Wait, I wait. want super old-timey, hell yeah, great grandpa wore that when he, what, what did old people do? Fight in the wall. No, <laughs> you wouldn't wear old tweed pants to fight in the war. What is going on? 
What is this pant? It's, oh, it's pleated. But it's... Oh, it's... It's sewed on the back side, too. It's just a flappy. <laughs> Why? I mean, it's probably to give it the appearance of a pleated pant without but what actually if it's windy? widening. What if it's windy and then your pants just start, like, flapping <laughs> back and forth like this? <gasps> it's got pockets. Hell yeah. I just... I want to be an old grandpa. That way too short. I don't know why I cannot handle pants that are not full length. It just, it looks like it's supposed to be full length and then it's just not. And you're like, I'm a little boy. Poorly fitted. Yes. I just had a girl Yes. I was into these. It's high waisted. It's got the poofy hips. It's got like kind of pleats in and stuff. But then, look how short it is. Is it supposed to be this short? I think this would work. Rayon. It's all hundred percent. It's all rayon. All the way down. Alright, it's shall we it's time. go to the it's time. She is off. Picnic in the park. What is very cute? Light academia. Light academia. Is that okay? Yeah. Yes. Oh my god. I know nothing about anything. It is not at all natural fiber and it is very staticky. This is very Catholic school girl. Yeah, this, this is working. Ooh. Ooh. And pockets. <gasps> Surprise pad. <laughs> <laughs> they don't wash these clothes. But pocket. That is very cute. Very like light, light academia. That's okay. my favorite so far. These grandpa pants are too big. These Ooh. grandpa pants would have been kind of okay, but they're too short. With the boots, they might look Can they be cool. unhemmed? There is a lot of layering there. We could make it longer, but the question is, would I do that? Do I tuck it into the boots? This is like Grandpa Explorer. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of go, I, I kind of like, like it. Milo. It's kind of like Milo. Like, yeah. What do you think? I like them. Yes. Bah, 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 bah. They fit pretty well. And the best part. Penguin butt! <laughs> I've got pockets. Like yeah. This is a real pocket back here. Ooh. I'm gonna do it. Mm -hmm. Six bucks. Cece's giving me the thumbs down. <laughs> like the the style suits you, but maybe with like blue jeans? If I can't think of it fitting several outfits, I can't get it. Also, this is not breathable at all. I need it off me. It is like really right on my armpit. Oh my, oh my god, dang. I just saw this. Oh my god, my now. Oh, that's <laughs> the boot part. Oh my goodness. I want to be a swimming flower nymph. How does it look? It looks good. I think I'm liking it. There's no like uh with seam sleeve There's seam no sleeve seam so you can't tell if it's supposed to be like smaller or more fitted which is the best kind of shirt this is perfect yes. this is i I'm already so have I found this that. i know they had this last time too okay. and then i got the orange the burnt orange one and i have a black version at home and now this just i like this shirt style it looks really good I like everything I can even wear it with these pants. Yeah. I got a full on outfit going on here without the clown socks. <laughs> the entire day today, I've had thrift shop in my head. Oh my God, it's so cool. It looks amazing. With the boots. <laughs> it looks so good. I'm getting so excited. <laughs> I'm so into that this. That looks so cute. I want that outfit. <laughs> a long time ago in high school, I took a single quarter class that was like about fashion and I don't remember what software she had but she had this software where you put all of your measurements in and then it showed you exactly what type of cut of clothes worked cool. best on you and like I verified it the cuts that it said looked best on me looked really good on me they included like square cut and then the Queen Anne neckline and poofy sleeves poofy sleeves look good on me 
I don't know why, it just works. And I don't find poofy sleeves very often. I gotta figure out some outfits, but I feel like they, this dance is necessary. <laughs> you happy dance. <laughs> and then a prance, like a horse, like a trotting horse all day. Okay. My friends are <laughs> just Rachel stuff. Don't be ridiculous. Apparently there are six types of academia. There's art academia, classic, which is dark academia, fantasy academia, what? light academia, romantic academia, theater academia. That's right. What? Would fantasy academia be like like Maester really Robes? Maester Robes from Game of Thrones. <laughs> uh, they do have a picture. Oh, is that Bernadette Banner? It looks like it, it yeah. Looks like <laughs> I think that is. Oh my. <gasps> Romantic Academia. Oh, this one? This Light that's Academia. Cute. Yeah, oh, that's I basically your style. Oh my god, I love it. That we went, instead of dark academia, <laughs> we did a lot more light academia. Okay, well, you know what? Switch between the two. I'm so for it. All right, let's get out of here. So I guess I ended up somewhere between light and dark academia with a strong inclination toward Amelia Earhart. So like, explore academia? If that's not a thing yet, then it is now because that's definitely what I was going for. Why yes, I am about to be the first woman to make a solo flight across the Pacific Ocean. Fuel up the Vega, Doris. This is no trip for biscuits. Today, we make history. 100% of these clothes are from Japanese thrift stores, including the jacket. As much as possible, I wanted to get natural fiber clothing, things like cotton, linen, not wool right now, because it's summer, but maybe come winter time, for several reasons. One is that they're so much more breathable as fabric. Since I have started wearing these natural fabrics, I have not been able to put on those old plastic clothes again because they feel so suffocating and hot. And of course, it's much better for the environment. So as much as possible, I would like to start migrating my wardrobe toward more natural fibers. Overall, I would say that was an extremely successful trip to the thrift store. I love all of these outfits. Almost every piece of clothing I bought was about $6. And of course it's reused, which is great. And as you saw, I can basically mix and match every piece with every other piece. And they all go really well with my aviator jacket. I'm super looking forward to fall and winter where I can wear sweaters and whatnot with these outfits as per most of the example photos of dark academia outfits. I hope you liked this intro into dark academia fashion if you weren't aware of it. Maybe it's not your thing. That's okay. We can all have different things. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you again next time.